In this painting, I really experimented with a lot of the colors to get this really cute pink beach scene. But I made sure to list all of the colors I was using. So what I was attempting to do is, for the most part, keep the water and the beach separate, but there is that part of the sand where the water is keeping it wet, and that is a darker color than the rest of the sand, and that's what I'm trying to paint here. On to one of my more favorite things to paint is the clouds. And how I'm doing this is that I'm just dabbing my brush into the paint and then I just continue to dab it into the canvas and circular motions and I let the paint run out because that helps with the transparent look of clouds. And you do see me go back over them with yellow and a darker purple to make sure that I am putting in lights and shadows. And I just got to keep in mind where my sun is facing. So 
So I felt like this painting had no real direction and there wasn't anything super interesting basically. So I decided I was going to add a little walking path and then uh, even more later I decided I was going to add a person actually walking along that path. I'm actually not a huge fan of the color pink, but uh, this dress would be very cute. One day I hope to master the paint tearing technique, but uh, it never ends up going perfectly so it doesn't even sound perfect like that. <laughs> Okay, that's it for this painting. Short and sweet, and that's okay. Uh, thank you for joining me. As I grow and learn, I learned a lot about uh, colors in this painting. 
and go ahead like share subscribe all of that goodness it helps youtube like me and i will see you in the next video